Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of RGS3 101. Today we are looking at CoverFlow Layout Editor for Aurora. Think of Aurora's CoverFlow like a carousel at a playground where each horse is a game. This tool let us redesign that carousel. How it looks, how it moves, and how it feels. So the CoverFlow Layout Editor is a PC base visual editor so instead of editing XML file by value this tool gives you sliders and previews like it's an open toolbox instead of fixing something blindfolded so you are using like a UI interface and you edit in real time so originally customizing cover flow meant editing XML files manually. One wrong value could break the old layout and you'd have to start up from scratch or just re-download that layout and try all over again. So this editor turns those numbers into puzzle pieces where you can easily and safely move around visually and see the results as you're doing that. So Things that can be customized. You can change the cover size, space, the angle, the animation speed, and even how the camera views the covers. So imagine rearranging game cases on a shelf and deciding how they slide across when you scroll. Does something similar to that. So how it actually works is Aurora stores layout as XML files. The editor loads them. You tweak the values, you preview the results, and you save that layout and send it back to the console. It's like taking a box into a workshop, modifying it, then put it back on the TV shelf. So our layout lives in Aurora's data layout folder, and each layout is its own file, like folders in a file cabinet. This makes it easier to swap layouts and come back to them and add new ones that you have created yourself. So who is this tool for? So this tool is mainly used by Aurora Skin creators. Like myself, that's working on the Blade Skin. And it only it's only for modded console users, basically. So think of them as a digital interior designer styling how the dashboard feels and flow for your console and you know these designers they create different type of layout and stuff like that so you can download and try on your console so with every software or application there are strengths and weaknesses and one of the strength that if you have the strength in this application app is that you have visual editing so Instead of editing code in Notepad, you have a, a UI interface where you put your values in and you can see the changes in real time while you do it. And it's very fast. So the limitation is that this application is PC only, so there's no Mac version, anything like that. And it's constrained to Aurora dashboard only. So it doesn't work on the original dashboard or if you're still using freestyle dashboard it doesn't work on that either yeah so in summary the, the cover flow layout editor gives you full control over how the games look in aurora and what i'll be doing i'll be doing a demonstration of how to get it installed get it up and running and give you a demonstration on how it's used so one two get the cover flow package and you open it we can see that it fits with all of these files so the files that you need is actually the xbox 360 plugin this is the file you're going to copy to aurora and here we have the application file so you can choose to put it on a usb stick and transfer over or you can use ftp by using filezilla so i'll be using filezilla for this demonstration so 
once you open FileZilla, you put your FTP information for your console in these parts. I have mine on the Quick Connect. So once you're connected, you navigate to where Aurora plugin is. And this is where you actually put it. Now let's bring up that part of the console. So that's the console there. So I would just drag and drop that there. So go in the console. So what you can do now, you can close this. And on your console, we press the start button and go to modules. You can see that the cover flow is added, but it's not sector active. So what you can do, all you need to do is just do a restart of Aurora, and that will load that plugin. Go to press start. You can see now that it's active. So now, if I open the Windows application, you can see that it's connected, and it loads the the current cover flow that's there. So one thing I can do is edit this section right here. But to make it interesting, I'm going to load up the, the skin that I've been working on. And I'll show you exactly how I use cover flow to design that section. All right. So let's get into that. All right, so let's go over to that cover flow there, and I'm going to choose cover flow B. And what I can do is import from console, and it will update the current cover flow that's there. So with this, I normally use it to design this section so each of these so if i do right you can see where it manipulate that section right there in real time and i can move the d-pad and see what's happening right there i can see center actually move that box art and each of these values manipulate your cover flow so you can design it. So you can actually have a template background either from a favorite sci-fi movie like Star Trek and you can use this application to design your own cover flow and your own layout. And when you're done, you can save as and save straight to your console and it will apply. And it will save it in that location that I mentioned earlier. So I won't be saving this because I don't want to um, mess with this section right here. And when you close the application, you will get a notification on your console that you have closed the application. And that's why you actually um, install and use that application. So thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more RGS3101 tip. Thanks for watching.